Hey Rick fans and welcome to Rick Bakery, where all our jokes are half baked. I'm Jacob and today I'm doing another leaf through of a Lego catalog. Today we're having a look at the 2010 LEGO catalog and in 2010 I've been away from LEGO in about 10 years, maybe even more. So there's a lot of stuff in here that I've never seen before. I haven't looked through this catalog before making this video because I wanted to share my experience with you guys. But without further ado, let's have a look at this catalog. And here is the 2010 LEGO catalog. Very interesting to see this underwater scenario with this nice little treasure chest filled with Lego bricks and some aqua, is this Aquazone or Atlantis? Hmm, I don't know specifically. I don't think I've ever seen these before. Maybe I've seen this one in, um, in a display somewhere. But other than that, this is unknown stuff to me. But it looks like shark people and divers are duking it out at the bottom of the sea, which is quite cool, I have to admit brand new in January. So these are all new, cool tractor, cool horse trailer, a cool little ATV here and a very nice barn here. This is, uh, this is great. These guys do look happy, that is for certain. I like this, a small slide here and a big plane as well. Very, very nice. Like this, 48 by 48. Yeah, I'm fairly certain this one was in the 2009 catalog as well. I don't think I've seen this before, like the loaves of bread in this card here. Bananas, carrots, all that good stuff. This one says soap. Wow, that's pretty nice. Never seen this before. Super. Wow. This is like the old Tulo uh, tools that was, that was a completely different type of Lego that was much more like regular construction toys where this is much more brick based. No, Tulo was much more like Meccano or something like that. And these wheels seem to be utilizing some of the functionalities of Tulo, which is quite interesting. I didn't know that this was sort of reintroduced back in 2010. Very nice. Some very nice models here. Very sleek design. Yeah, very sleek. Very, very nice. Duplo trains, choo 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 train, choo 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 train, 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 yes, cool trains. Hmm, but I think, I actually think this is the same picture as in the 2009 catalog, so not much going on here, and there's no uh, indication of this being new, there's usually a little, a little batch or something, a little sticker saying new in this and this month. I like this over here, this is very, very nice gives me some ideas of how I might do backgrounds for my own reviews at some point. It would be cool to work with something like this for your backgrounds. C cut this out of some uh, construction paper maybe and make some kind of silhouetted background like this. Interesting, you know, there's a whole number thing going on here. So this is, um, yeah, this again, it, it, it tells you something about what your children can learn from using this. Uh, fine motor skills, play with numbers, forms and colors. Very interesting. It's sort of, it's like Lego is starting to sort of realize that they have some kind of um, teaching or pedagogical value to their bricks and uh, they're trying to sort of make that a selling point in this catalog as well. Small builders begin here. Seems that small builders begin on page, whatever this is, page 16 and 17. Hmm, who knew? And this is new as well. So the, is, is the blue base plate new in 2010? Would it actually be all the way to 2010 before we could get a blue base plate? Hmm, that's interesting. I did not know that. That's very, very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. Again, I didn't know that light bricks went that far back. I thought light bricks was relatively new. At least lighting up your Lego cities is a relatively new thing and uh, a great idea, by the way. But uh, I didn't know that light bricks went back this far, but it seems that they do actually. Uh, the temple, uh, which was new at this point. Uh, wow, I just went there not too long ago. It's a fun ride, actually. Very, very fun ride. 
Lego Creator. Lego Creator is a wonderful line of Lego sets and I really like these houses from way back then. Uh, this one is great, I like the basketball hoop right here and the way they made this garage door is quite cool as well. A little satellite dish up here, that's very nice. I like this and the alternates look very nice as well, I like this one. But this one really, really takes the cake. This yellow one with the black, with the black roof. This is very, very nice. I'd love to have this. Maybe, maybe it would be interesting to uh, see if we could piece, I could piece this one together, or maybe even make a color swapped version. I do like the yellow and black and white. That looks very, very good. But maybe some kind of color swapping would be interesting. Hmm, these two were new in 2010 as well. Some creator sets here. And more Lego Creator. Wow, this is nice. A little green one with three different small alternatives in it and a small blue helicopter. So these two are new. This fire engine is very, 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 very awesome, I think. And finally, a new fire station, it seems. Yeah, new in December, new in December. So these two, this is also new in December. So I think most of this would be new in December of 2010, which is very interesting because as we saw in my 2009 Lego catalog video, the picture and the fire station was actually the same in the 2009 and 2007 catalog. So the fire station hadn't changed from 2007 to 2009, but finally it changes here in 2010. Great to see and uh, a very impressive one at that. These two garages does look very, very interesting. I think it's very nice when they include garages like this and the little headquarters here do look interesting a little bed up here the guy seems to be sleeping under his hat and a lot of stuff going on in this diorama right here guys oh there's a policeman falling off the roof the burning roof but there's some guys here who has a net to catch him that's very interesting is that a part of a set or is that just something hmm can't see it anywhere here so that must just be something they put for this diorama. A great idea though. This fireboat is cool. Very, very cool indeed. I like this police station. It seems very, very big to me. Um, I think, yeah, it does look bigger than the current Lego uh, police station, but this, this is actually very nice. I like that the um, prisons are here on the second floor, first floor, second floor, this floor, the middle floor, <laughs> the middle floor, uh, like this, and that this one is actually a bit higher. Good, very interesting use of these um, these windows here to make a slope window like that, and uh, yeah, looks great. And more Lego City. This is farm themed. This one is new. Wow very big tractor right here looks great little fence for pigs <laughs> little oh, that looks cute I don't think I've seen these pigs before um, other than maybe somebody who did uh, build a mock hmm don't know but um, these looks very very cute I think they're very very cute I like this I like this how you can make a rural sort of country area in your Lego city with this farming areas the present cities are often very, very, um, very, very uh, inner city focused, where where it's all skyscrapers and such. But this this allows us to go so sort of outside the city and have some some countryside as well, which is is a uh, which pretty good, which is pretty good. And construction sets, construction sets are always awesome, and these cranes here are just magnificent. Great, great. Great construction set right here as well. I really like, I think this here, if I were to pick just just one year of, of, uh, of construction sets, I'd say this would be a strong candidate. This is just great sets. Big, big crane, good little truck here for collecting dirt and such. Good digger thing right here. Cool crane and a building that's being built that's very, very great idea. I'd love to have more like this. This this is a good idea. Like that. Oh, and I like this. I like how they're using some of those rubber bands to couple together some of these longer uh, pieces here to make it look like like piping and such. 
That's a great idea. And airport. Seems like there's a lot of new airport stuff. This is new, this is new, this is new, 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 new. No, this is new, but this, no, this is new. Ah, oh, wow. 52 centimeters. This is a big plane. A very, very nice Octon, Octon truck right here. The other plane looks wonderfully big too. Some big planes. And this airport thing maybe a little basic but the tower looks great i like this checkered checkered pattern right here and uh, some different vehicles i like this little smart car thing very very nice i like this like to do some color swapped versions of this and have a lot of those in my city gotta check that one that one out 3177 yeah that would be cool to have some uh, some color swapped versions of this one and fairly easy to do I think maybe the plate on top would be a little difficult to get but uh, other than that it looks looks interesting and some more city stuff this is the same display as in the 2009 catalog but it's still a pretty cool uh, display I do still like this garage a lot great stuff going on there great big towing vehicle right here and some very interesting buildings here in the background I'll make the same point as I did before these are nice because they are fairly easy to replicate I'd say fairly easy to understand what's going on here and you can build them on your own if you want to and uh, make your city look great with all that stuff yeah, and another another tow truck so there's a lot of focus on auto repair and tow trucks and such in this version of lego city they do tend to sort of sort of change their focus there's a guy called the woodshop teacher who has a youtube channel as well and he has included this particular set in his lego city he actually did a um, a, a new version of the uh, bike repair shop uh, which turned out really really nice if you don't know the woodshop teacher you should be sure to go check him out because he does do cool stuff he's just started out not too long ago but he is very nice guy does great stuff and on to some more lego city before we turn on to lego atlantis this is a fire helicopter and it has a very interesting function here we can pick up water and fly it out to a forest and dump it all and it can turn out fires fairly quickly and here we go with lego atlantis now it seems to me this here states that there is a premiere for atlantis on cartoon network on february 14th and we can go to atlantis atlantis.lego.dk i imagine there's at atlantis.lego.com as well but I'm imagining too that that has disappeared but this is a theme I have never really seen or heard anything about is except for occasionally when I've seen somebody who've used parts of these sets for their underwater displays they do have cool 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 models I think uh, but not as cool as the older Aquazone sets but let's have a look and see what it all is a lot of stuff going on i'm not completely sure about the uh, conflict here but i do know that these are sort of rescue divers or divers who are trying to find atlantis of course and i'm getting that guessing that these are the creatures defending atlantis something like that um they do look very very menacing i'd say these black creatures all over I like this one. This one both reminds me a little of a uh, Star Wars uh, uh, ship, and and also, yeah, these this down here looks very very awesome. I think, and uh, this shape here is is great too. I like this one. This one is cool. I'd love to have this one. The others maybe not so much. Big propellers here, mm, not so much. This one, this one is cool. I'd like this one. Take part in the hunt for Atlantis at atlantis.lego.dk so there was a whole online thing going on as well and there's a little uh, there's a little character gallery right here with all the different uh, different people who are involved also all this is telling me that atlantis is the name of a deep sea diving company that's trying to uh, to 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 get a hold of stuff from atlantis so all these are uh, people from that company interesting but there is a professor at least uh, so there is some kind of scientific relation in all of it 
okay, so there's a very, very, very interesting integration between the uh, home page, the web page, and, and the, the the Lego sets. This is very interesting. I never seen this before. Um, I do know that there is currently an effort by Lego to integrate uh, iPhones and smartphones and such in their Lego sets. For instance, the new space sets do have that, but I I didn't know about this and that this could actually sort of take part in the, in the game that you could play. And a small cartoon here, this time not drawn, but actually made with actual Lego figures and such. That's, uh, that's a great idea, I like this. And more pirate stuff. This is all the same pirate stuff as in 2009, but it is still so cool. I'd love to have this ship, I'd love to have this, I'd love to have this, 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 and this. I'd just love to have pirate stuff. I have so little pirate stuff, you wouldn't even believe it. And as I like it a lot, you know, I need it. I must have it. Hello, sailor, or oh, ahoy, sailor, ahoy, ahoy, sailor. Hmm. As far as I know, and I might be wrong here, but I think the Toy Story was probably the first time Disney, yeah, probably the first time Disney had a collaboration with Lego because you might say, oh, Star Wars is a Disney thing. Yeah, but they weren't back in 2010, were they? I don't think they were. But anyway, uh, this is a Disney thing and uh, yeah, these are very nice. I like these army men here. These are very, very nice. And I think the face prints, the face molds, these are very good too. The new uh, version we're getting have regular minifigure heads, but these are actually pretty good. These does look a lot like those in the movie. And it seems like these legs are longer. Are these some kind of weird little bigger than minifigures? does look like it because this is a minifigure and this one looks bigger interesting hmm very very interesting gotta love this and some power miners now the power miners are really getting going in this one incorporating blue and light green great idea lava trash so that's a it's a prison what's going on here what is this so have they caught sort of a lava monster that they're not dropping into their prison. Wow, that, <laughs> that's kind of dark, isn't it? All new in December. Does that mean that all of this is new in December or is it just this one? I don't think I've seen this one before, so I'll guess, I'll guess it's, it's all of it that's new. And Space Police. Space Police, third generation. Great stuff going on here. Couple of new sets. Again, this one is a great set. Very, very cool to see some of these motherships still. It's been a while since we've seen something like this besides uh, Benny's, Benny's uh, space plane from the first Lego movie. But we really need to return to some of this. Another iteration of Space Police might be a great way to go, I think. Um, and uh, even, you, you know, go, 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 you can go even more crazy than this. Just go full on. Just go full on crazy with the creativity and the science fiction. No reason to hold back. This is, this is great. Ben 10 Alien Force. I know that Ben 10 was a cartoon, but other than that, I have no idea what this is. I know I found part of this figure in a used lot I bought at some point, but I also know I didn't keep it. Bionicle stars the new Golden Toa. Hmm. All new in January. So this is the new uh, the new season. Bionicle stars. Hmm. Don't know anything about it. This guy's this guy looks mean. I'd say this guy looks like a uh, space marine from Warhammer 40k. <laughs> um, yeah. This look. This one and this one look. Uh, these two look reptilian, I'd say. Maybe also like something out of uh, Warhammer 40k. Hmm. I don't know if the guys who make Bionicle even know about that stuff, but it does look like it. I don't think I've ever seen this before, actually. Uh, so you can, there's, there's an air pump that you uh, mount your Lego vehicle to and you push it with your foot and the vehicle goes racing off. 
Now, I've never been too much into these non minifigure scale Lego racing vehicles, but I like that they're trying out different things. I wonder how well these worked. I've never seen them before, so I'm wondering how well these worked. Somebody in the comments let me know how well th th did this work? Was this a thing? Did you play with it? How, how did it work? Did you, did you race them against each other? How was it? What was it? Tell me in the comments below. To do, I'm just realizing what this is. So you get this suitcase that has a play thing inside, much like the Micro Machines um, stuff we got back in the 90s and up through the 2000s, I think. Very classic Ferrari truck right here has a F1 car inside. And I like this function here. We can get out the drawer from underneath. And Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars. This one is um, is interesting. It's um, it's a plane that's only seen very briefly in one of the prequel movies, one episode one, two, or three. I think it's episode two. Not completely sure, uh, but it's as far as I know, it's supposed to be sort of a predecessor of the X-wing. So this one is interesting. I do think it looks. Cool, I do like this design, but nothing beats the real X-Wing, to be honest. And to me, it looks a bit like these wings should be buzzing, like bzzz. Other than that, it does it does look very, very interesting. I believe this is a Clone Wars thing, maybe? Freako Speeder. Okay, <laughs> I, I have no idea what this is. Don't know anything about that. Not sure I know this here either. Droid Tri-Fighter. You can watch it on TV too, that's a Danish uh, television channel, and on Cartoon Network it seems. And this one was all new in December. And even more Star Wars. I think most of this was present in the previous 2009 catalog. This was the uh, 10th anniversary thing, I believe, with the Darth, Darth Vader uh, character in there and the Anakin's Y-Wing, and this one, the Veneta class Republic Attack Cruiser. A very, very cool ship. I like how this riffs on the classic Imperial Star Destroyer, Victory class Star Destroyer, and makes it look like something that came before like this. Very cool idea. Oh, and even more Star Wars. Seems like Star Wars is taking great part of this catalog. This one moves funny in the movies. I don't know if this one actually moves like that uh, as a as a Lego set as well. Would be interesting to see that. And some commercials here for some Lego Star Wars and Mindstorm. Same version as in the 2009 catalog. This is a pro pro criminal pro pro criminal. This can be programmed. <laughs> This can be programmed and used for different kinds of things. I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's supposed to interact with uh, a program on your computer. So you can program it to do different stuff and you can build different kinds of robot that can, robots that can do different things. I actually tried uh, to control a Lego robot at the Lego house not too long ago, which was great fun. It was a game related to that, which I really enjoyed. Technic stuff, as usual, I am not the biggest Technic fan, but I can appreciate all the designs and all the intricacies of what is going on. All new in January, I think that means that all of it is new in January. Hmm, always like things with a crane on it, and a digger is always very nice to have. And there's this last page, there's a fold out. We'll have a look at the fold out in just a second. Here we got this wonderful red truck. This one is Genuinely looking good, I think. Love this crane right here. And this is a small ATV. Not too shabby, eh? And lastly, we've got this very nice dump truck right here. And here on the last page, there is this very, very, very cool digger thing. I think I've seen this somewhere but I'm not sure but I believe there's an older version of this that has become somewhat of a classic but I'm not a hundred percent sure please let me know in the comments below if you know something about that 
was the 2010 LEGO catalog. Let me know in the comments below if there's something in here you'd really, really like to have. Maybe there's something you already have, or maybe there's something in here you've never ever seen before. Let me know in the comments below, because that would be fun to hear about. But that's all for me today. I hope you'll comment, like, and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you guys next Monday.